Oakland, California, 1977. I was just a little three-year-old pup running around the house in the next city over. Leonard Skinner. Come on, everybody. You remember Leonard Skinner, right? Freebird. Southern Rock. I know you know the name of this, this band here, right? Do you know how to spell it? Have you always known how to spell it? Thanks for joining me today for voting video number 179. Leonard Skinner. Yeah. <laughs> This was a time here, way before the Mandela effect. They knew their reality. Do you know yours? Leonard Skinner. This is what I remember. L-Y-N-A-R-D. S-K-Y-N-A-R-D. We have 1,754 newspapers where the people writing the articles remember it like me in the 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm sure you could go to Twitter and find tens of thousands of people spelling it that way. If you hashtag it, same on Instagram, Facebook, all of them. I found this I thought was interesting. Here's a little album with the spelling I remember, Leonard, Leonard Skinner. And you can see it playing here. I, I tried to find if they had changed the name. I'll show you what I found. See, I thought this showed it. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Spelled the way I remember. But if you go to images, everything's Leonard Skinner. S N L Y N Y S K Y N Y. It's the way it's always been. Most famous Southern rock band ever. 70s popularized Southern rock. Here it is here, Leonard Skinner. Thumb this video up if you remember L-Y-N-A-R-D, S-K-Y-N-A-R-D. But it's always had the double Ys. And it was named after the gym teacher in the high school of the band members. And it was actually Skinner, Leonard Skinner. And then they decided to go with uh, Leonard Skinner, but never from what I see here, never do I see the spelling I remember. <laughs> it's always been this spelling. Uh, originally formed in 1964, Leonard Skinner. Uh, finally deciding on Leonard Skinner in 1969, so that might explain this. But that might ex okay. So it's one year after this here, they decided to go with the double Y's. But. Okay, is that what we're remembering? We're all remembering this album from 1968. <laughs> it's always been Leonard Skinner. This is so weird. Maybe this, you know, we're on a timeline now where they had gone with this and stuck with it. But we got timelines crossing over. We got Reality Residue, which a lot of people don't understand. Here's Leonard Skinner cancels casino concert. And here's the actual spelling that's always been. Southern rock band Leonard Skinner, the way I remember it. I mean, they have this photo here, but they go with their memory. You know, the whole point of the article is about the band. They can't even spell the band's name right. So um, that's about it. Just wanted to do a quick voting video on this. Pretty crazy, but I think this is a big one for a lot of classic rock. Oh, I wanted to show you one last thing before we go. thought this was interesting. Uh, I hope it's still here. And maybe not. Could probably bring it up. If you're st still with me here. Let's see. Well, anyway, I'll just tell you. I had someone comment on one of my music videos, which I really love doing the Mandela Effect music videos. And he said, he said that, <clears throat> excuse me, he said that Aerosmith, you know, that, that it had always been tear instead of tears in the song that I covered for the Mandela effect. And he said that he went to the concerts and he knows, I, and I, I said, thank you for confirming this reality. It has always been for the year, for the years or for the year and, and for the tear. But, um, I remember for the tears, 
But anyway, so he said, you know, just asked uh, someone from the 80s who knows their rock music. And and then he put something about Leonard Skinner, and he spelled it Leonard, the way I remember, A-R-D. And so I, I called him out on it. I said, well, you're such an expert on rock music from the 70s and 80s, you can't even spell Leonard Skinner because he was Mandela affected at that moment. So that's it. I will talk to everyone soon. Please vote, comment, share. Look forward for more videos. I love the music ones like the one I did for the Beatles last night. There'll be more music ones to come. I, I've always liked music and I'm not a musical expert and know every single line. That's why there's a lot I don't even cover. I've, I've seen a lot that, that I'm not sure about, so I'm not going to do videos on them. I'm sure I remember the name of the spelling of this band. But there's other ones where I could have misheard it type thing. Maybe like with the Michael Jackson one where people are saying, you know, it sounds like this or that. I don't want to do ones that are kind of on the fence that could go either way. Maybe sound, you know, sound different or whatever. The one last night with Think versus Do. I mean, there's no confusing that. Okay. So, yeah. The Mandela Effect continues to amaze. It's the never-ending Easter egg hunt. And I enjoy it. I mean, once the initial shock's over, I think it's incredible meeting ourselves again this time that the Incas talked about that we'd be in. I'm going to be doing more on the ancient history stuff and prophecy because it's all connected. The blood moons, I'm looking forward to September 23rd. Not that anything's going to happen on that particular day. I don't think anything's going to happen on that day, but it's another transitional point. Just like December 21st, 2012 was a transitional point. Maybe the end of time as we knew it, that the Mayans were talking about. And then the end of the blood moons is when the Mandela effect took off. We had the four blood moon tetrad. I have a video on that. You can see it on my cover page on my channel. If you haven't seen it, it's incredible information that I put together on that. Um, I have almost a million views on that video on my other channel, Shine the Light 73. So everything's connected. We're all one. Incredible times. I think uh, a lot of things are going to be falling by the wayside in this apocalypse, everybody. That's right. I said apocalypse. The unveiling. The truth is being unveiled. The curtain's being pulled, everybody. We're in the apocalypse, which means unveiling. Doesn't mean end of the world. Could mean end of a world, a time, but it's not end of the world, everything ends. I mean, that's just fear-mongering from religion and, and Hollywood. So don't worry about that, but... Anyway, I've gone on long enough. I got to run out the door. I got to head to work. I uh, will try to do another video tonight. Uh, next week gonna be extremely busy, working six days. So I don't know if I'll be able to put out many videos, but I'll put them out as I can, everyone. This is not going to end. I want to continue documenting my memories, and the Mandela effect is coming at you. So stay ready for it. It's not stopping. But don't fear. There's nothing to fear with the Mandela Effect. You're learning that you're a multidimensional being and that we're always shifting realities. So there's nothing to fear, everybody. Do not fear the Mandela Effect. Go create the reality that you want.